uh, commit as much time wouldn't be able to. Prepare for rivals. They're changing their units, aren't they? Because it's a uh, live servers, you can only have blue units. So if anybody's wondering why they're changing the units now, it's because they would have literally joined in with a basically a blue warband, and then they have to change to the units. So the attackers have got four four pole axes up, four short swords. The defenders have got a big chunk of short swords. Again, I think this is because there's no runes at the minute, and short swords are just a very tanky class. And obviously, pole axe without its root, the runes gone. So there is no CC rune this season for Polak, so we're going to see less of those in the matchmaker. Mm, the attackers are with four muskets. Interesting. The defenders are not sallying out. The defenders got... will when we screamed them over there. Yeah, but then they're, they're not. Unless they go out with full infantry, they're not sallying. Not an ability. No. Well, they wheels on Wednesday or Thursday. Me? Yeah, I, th I think I turned you up for territory war. Yeah, I fixed my I... mic. Ah, that's yeah. why. So it doesn't sound like like you fixed it, or did you buy a new one because you lost lost the fucking pop filter with your bum hole again? Oh no, this is totally <laughs> different. Think. Ah, that'll be me. In all ah, no, no, no. They had to they had to restart Odin's Legion versus Kebabs. They just said mm. the dogs to the castle. Right. Now I can actually have a drink as well, and I'm settled in. Yeah, now what can we grand champions? It's already grand champions after one weekend. Yeah, seven. Oh. Well, I'm the crown's second. So it looks like the defenders might actually try defending A if they push their units up onto the stairs already. It could just be though to fake out the attackers when they get in. Looks like they're going to send a couple and maybe climb it. Is that, is that outriders? Oh no, the attackers have got Amagas out and a Wing of Sars and the Cataphracts as well, just in case they sallied out apparently. I should be paid for not being able to take a shit Simka, I agree. I, I need £5 for every minute that I wasn't able to shit. <laughs> I actually do need a shit though, but I'm not even joking. Comment from the shit. <laughs> How are you doing, Toby? Right. Flames wise, the attackers have got four sets out. Okay. They've got three sets of Zakalian. Nowhere near as many jabs. No, they've got no jabs. The last time they had a good chunk of jabs when they were defending, the defenders have zero jabs. They've got basically the same setup as they just had, I think. Maybe a little bit more cavalry. Illidars this time out as well. Why has Hedda got Village Watchman out? Where's he? That maybe just try and bait out his Village Watchman at the Toilet cam. <laughs> no one wants to see that ball mark, trust me. <laughs> I actually just made as well, watched um, Grand Prix earlier with a couple of mates of mine, made some pulled pork burgers as well. And pulled pork in the oven for like four hours as well. So they're pulling back to B, so they're not even going to, they're not going to defend at all like the front line if you like. I think the village watchmen are there just to slow them down slightly on the stairs. Is that unit at the bar back here? Yeah. The attackers get down here then just ruin them from behind. I don't know if they should be leaving up there. Attackers have changed out all of their cavalry. Headers just swapped flame ore as well. Have they got flames out? No. Defenders don't have flames out. They've only got two in their setup as well. It's interesting that the attackers have now got four sets of flames as well. They do have two sets out straight away. So they've got Shankusu and Brother No Face. They've got their, their flamey boys out straight off the bat. 
See if we can see any running up the stairs here. There's a set. There's a set right there. So the defenders are going to have to be extremely aggressive as soon as they notice the flamers and jump straight on their faces to get rid of them. Um, these guys over here need to start thinking about maybe rotating as well. The attackers do a full 15-man push down the stairs. The defenders on this side are going to get absolutely annihilated. Right, so they've got A, they've got 10 minutes 50 for B point. Let's see how they do it. It looks like they might do a split push down this back stairs and this front stairs. Or they're just going to do a full... Baiting them. To spread them. Deuce Profugo is just trying to run away for his life. That must have been on purpose, though. What unit did he have? He's got Madao. He's, yeah, he's pulled him back down the tower already so they don't get pulled out. Shady's going to poke his head up and see what's going on. They should be able to see the rotation, though, fairly easily. Guys in the back here need to start thinking about moving towards B at minimum. So they've got less of a distance to rotate. I think they're rotating now, but they're coming down the front alleyway. Rosa pulling back the other way. Yeah. Who's prefer goes an aim, but <laughs> I mean he's on he's on the not the attacking team. I was gonna say he's on headers team, so he's clearly shit. <laughs> but he's on the wrong team, goddammit. Not on the baiting them with just heroes. Immy at header love. <laughs> Right, so sloth blockers have actually rotated around so they've got both staircases covered. But even if they do do a split push now, the, the attackers have got flames on each staircase, I would assume. Oh, they've got houndsmen as well. They're actually going to do work if they're allowed to do so. One set of flames here. The other set's probably in this chunk. Yeah, yeah, they are at the front, yeah. They're going to do a full rotation. Shady's seen it though, so he's going to be able to see that they're all coming this way. If these get here quicker than flow and push that, the defenders are dead. Those houndsmen are doing constant work as well. The defenders don't have flames there unless they're completely sat within the shield. The defenders through. don't even have flames out, so never mind. What's broke through? Yeah, oh, the back here. Down. Oh, yeah. Doing? Can't even get a resupply either, so maybe he's just... Baiting? Like what units he got out? He's got his Madao out again. Okay. So here comes the big fight. Let's have a look at this. The attackers should win this because they've got flames. They've got two sets of flames. That was a bad Zakalian. That was a very bad Zakalian. So the flames from the attackers. They need to get onto the flat really so they can do the most. Zakalian from the attackers as well. This engagement seems to be going pretty well for the attackers. I don't understand why the defenders had zero flames out though for this. I think they're trying to get in on them now. Young's jumping over the back look. Oh, the defenders are starting to drop heroes. Three heroes down, two heroes for the attackers. Flames in the back corner here, though. They've got a lot of heroes defending them. Defenders have dropped to, uh, dropped six heroes. Palace Guard's charging in now. He should have maybe charged here instead of next to them, but yeah. There's still a couple of flamers up. Six defenders left, so the attackers have definitely won that push. Isn't he dead? He definitely is dead. Good split attack post up. Well, it wasn't really a split, was it? They all like oh, Zerg ran this way and pushed yeah, down. Yeah, it was Zerg, but they didn't all attack like at once. Like pushing at once, you yeah, mean, yeah. They waited for the engagement of the defenders before they sent the Reapers in to clear up. The defenders, though, I don't understand why they didn't have flames out there. Captain Strange. Dean. They've got flames out now. They've got catters as well. Two sets of catters. So... Polax was trying to get a sneaky cap off. He's been pushed back. The main fight looks like it's going off on the supply point here. Those flames could do work, but there's nothing to protect them. <laughs> that, I mean, they need to protect the, the they need to protect the flames, but that that charge was terrible. <laughs> Youngs, oh, he's been playing too much with Deader, I'm telling you. Right, Mom. Techies getting pushed. Is that Zero? We think. Oh, there's a fight. Ooh, cheeky. So the respawners from the attackers would push straight through one uh, point. You got Header coming behind now though with his cataphract, so he might actually be able to do a bit of work here. Albadir silence though might be a problem. Same as Madao. Polax in here though, stunning the majority of the cavalry, but the, the attackers completely concentrated on the one unit and they just got run over from the other side. Very, very good rotation from the defenders there. Attackers coming in now with more cavalry. I think they've realized they need to reset though, because they've only got seven dudes. Yeah, they're pulling back. They need to pull back. If these 
the defenders realize and start pushing in on them now. More and more are spawning in though. So you got Brood of Face is going to go for the resupply on this side. I think that's Rose's best shot now. Push around to the resupply, regroup. Do they have any Fortabrachios out? They do. They've got a couple of units of IPGs, my down Fortabrachio, yeah. What they need to do is just try to push from one side, block behind them with like a unit of 40s. IPGs to block the other side and everything else goes full send on the, the big block here. But the defenders have got a lot of cavalry out still. you got well. Armagers, two sets of cavalry. Although oh, head has just changed to ball boys, so he's got his Zakalian out now. That's going to be a decent treb as well. Rude and no face there, can push in when he's needed to. The medal there. Unit wise, the defenders have lost more, but they still have more left, so they had more rash if you like. So it's still very even, let's do it. The attackers do have one set of flames out. No, they don't. It's the defenders who've got a set of flames out. Hmm. The defend uh, the attackers had four sets though. They only lost uh, two on that first. As it should be wise to this, this is similar one to what we did over there. Oh, never mind. <laughs> They're gonna get B though. <clears throat> They're already at home point as well. I had gone straight for home point with that. Oh, Monteki. Yeah, that Monteki is gonna get loads of kills. Monteki is such a good cavalry player, man. Proved it in the last league as well. That was a very nice flank. Even though I think he lost most of his unit, the fact that he they made they got made to face him, the bit the main Zerg's just been at running and absolutely nuke him. Good cav there though. That statement. Statement for the defenders, I believe. Yeah. With the cataphracts getting a decent amount of damage off. He looks like he saved the majority of his unit as well. Got one guy on endpoint, but Julius is gonna be able to stop that. Zex is there as well. Statement's coming in with his cataphracts. Preemptive treb, not very good. Nivash, what units Nivash got? Wing to stars? No, that was Cupboard Joe. Armigas, okay. Eight defense. Only seven defenders left, so the attackers might be able to clear this already. I think they've won most of the fights so far. I don't really want to check because there's a massive brawl going on here. A lot of cavalry running around, man, for the de uh, the attackers even. Defenders are being completely cleared off the point. You got Jester Revan coming in the back here with. Is that Pike Militia? Yeah, Pike Militia. Quite a few units here try to get in, but they've been slowed down by Rizlan. It looked like a cavalry unit. Then it's that. Yeah, there we go. There's a nicely placed treb. That's where most of the defenders are coming. Header and Shady just run through the back lines with Scrato. They've been stopped by a couple of units, though. Nice treb. Very nice treb. The defenders, though, are on a lot of crash at the minute. They've got a lot of pike militia out. I don't know if they're going to be able to clear this, you know. Good wedge pushing through now, though. Nice IPG walk. Getting rid of Albedee. No, Fort Brachio. Sorry. That's going to be a very good treb, though. The defenders might just push past it, though, when it starts landing. A bit slow on the uptake, though. They are, unit-wise at least, outnumbering the attackers on point. Yeah, I think they're going to stabilise for now. Unit-wise, it's very even. But the defenders have definitely got lower quality units. So the attackers need to take a breath, redeploy, reset, Statement and Kizase here could be in trouble for those Outriders right up their jacks. That is dead, I think. That's I Yeah, he is. Right. 10 against 6. 7 against 6. The attackers need to pull back and reset. They've still got 5 minutes. Stop going in willy nilly. Set up. Think about it. And then attackers want instead of feeding the defenders. They've got, what, third of the cap off, roughly? Yeah. The defenders have got a lot of trash, though. One Armigas, they've got flames up, two IPGs, fought a Brachio. The attackers have got definitely better quality. And they've still got Trebs as well. I reckon a decent way to do this would be is do a full Zerg to the back here and make the defenders push you from the front so you can treb like a massive blob of them. Where are the yeah, defenders' yeah. flames in here, probably, aren't they? No. Corner here? Also, no. Where the fuck are the flames? It still said somebody had flames out, didn't it? Young's has got flames. Where the hell's Young's running around then? 
Do you? Did your stream stopped? No. I didn't play this game anymore, but Nine Fingers dragged me back in. You love it, Toby. You know you do. You should come here, you one man. Huh? You keep lagging. Oh, it's Discord then, isn't it? After the, well, I said, I'll, I'll turn it off and reset it. No, your voice. Oh, my voice was like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, so the attackers have done a big push down at the back here so they can block the reinforcements. If they would get fought here, they can treb. They can also treb a lot of this area anyway. I still can't see the defender's flame. Maybe they're like they all actually died or something. That's a pretty decent defense there, stopping reinforcements. The attackers have got good stable position here to just... They've got a time as well, man. They do not need to rush. Let the flames do their work. Keep them as safe as possible. That IPG walk, though. Oh, there's the Defender's Flames. Like, one or two models left. Very nicely done from the Defenders there. They have dropped a lot of heroes, though. Good treb yeah. coming in from the Attackers. I think they've, I think the Attackers have done it now. And all they need to do is clear them off. Start capping. Make sure they've got a decent decent defense here. They just need to turn them shields around, really. Get the Halberdiers set up as well. Halberdiers are now set up, shields are now set up, flames are in there as well, so that's basically completely safe. This is about to get wiped. And now, is, how is Rotten Banana going to get in? Because he ain't going to get in through here. He's going to have to run all the way around. Yeah, he's just <laughs> got taken straight off his horse, insta-died. And that's GG. So 1-1, one, one. very, very nicely done. Both teams. Very, very well played. So, I can't even say that. Gitchi, the Gitchi. MVP for the attackers. 1 3, 17 and 89 units. Very well played. 27 modal, man. Two flames as well. For batch code, 24 modals. 5 Zekalian. Who had the most flame kills then for the attackers? Monteki and Hawk so far. Two each. And Boars. Let's have a look at the defenders. MVP was Azura. Kicker Fatals, Youngs, and Rotten Banana. I think they definitely dropped more heroes, though. It wasn't that bad, though. 47 to 35, to be fair. Like, heroes killed. That's actually pretty close. Seven flames from Azura. Holy shit, man. That is massive, getting rid of flames. Ooh, seven for Rotten Banana as well. 